We made it. I think this is a forest. Yeah, this is a. F oh! oh! Hello everyone, this is Casual Prince Ator Sam here and welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm on the title screen. Well, I've decided that we're actually gonna start a new game on the main Seven Days to Die map. And I probably should have done that originally because the randomly generated maps, I mean they're okay. But it's not like it's not that good because um, the buildings aren't that like varied, and it's literally just a few random buildings dotted around with a central city in the middle. And Navis Gen, or or we're gonna start as Hank because it's Hank. Private game. And Navi Navis Gain Navis Gain I don't know how it's pronounced but um Um Like I'm just starting on Navis Gain because Navis Gain is pre generated and I've played on it before and there's a lot of awesome stuff there like there's there's actual, like, varied structures. There's, there's, like, gas stations and there's farms and multiple towns and cities. And it's just better. So, we're going to start on Navis Gain and we're going to call it <clears throat> Eight Days to Play. Uh, do you get it? D d d d d d no, 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 I'm sorry. It's just because it's a sequel to our other world, which is called Seven Days to Play. Anyway, so uh, let's start this game. And let's get into this. So, yeah, I just like, I knew that um, once, like our original world, that's not really going to be any fun because there's not much to do, not much to explore. I think the whole world was literally a desert, but now, now this game, there's, I'm, please, Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, I don't know how it's actually... Alright, dear friend, the wasteland could be an unforgiving place and you look like you use some help. Enclosed is a short guide to help you survive. Complete it, it just might take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement, it's real and it's safe. Good luck, Noah. And that's what I like. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, I know, I know, thank you. There's a burning deer. Sorry about that random audio glitch. Anyway, so oh, looks like we spawned right next to a house. So now we're getting pre-generated structures. It's better. Oh, we got some painkillers. That is good. That's very good. First off, let's sort out our inventory. No, let's not put it in the corpse. There we go. So uh, let's search this cooler. Uh, old trash. Thing. So let's grab some small stones. This looks like an okay house. Like I, as I was saying, like it's cool because. 
I mean, yes, Ark has a story, but they haven't implemented a way to finish the story yet, I don't think. Well, they might have done. Ooh, a blueprint for leather gloves. There we go. Um, but this, like, this has a story. This isn't just a random zombie apocalypse, which is what I like. So, like, I don't know anything about the story of um, Seven Days to Die. We've apparently, we've got a letter from this guy called Noah, and he says the White River Settlement is real and it's safe. So, I suppose that's where we should be heading, although, you know... Don't exactly know where that is. I mean, it's a big world. But I suppose we could call this... No, actually, I don't... I was going to say we should call this home, but it looks quite bad. Yeah, it's one of these bad houses. There's hardly anything here. First off, we can get some... Some stuff. We can get some cloth fragments to make some bandages starting off good so look at this it's not even got like a top floor it looks better than it is which is kind of annoying anyway um i kind of want to set up house in an in a nice place like a forest maybe with good resources so i suppose all we could do really is follow the road and see where it takes us, I suppose. We should probably try and like complete the survival goals um, along the way. Just so we can complete basic survival fairly quickly. So now, fiber pants, shirt bring up the clothing so gloves hood pants shirt and shoes there we go So hopefully, if we keep heading this way, we should come across a forest of some kind. Or or just a nice looking place to call home, that's all I like. Well, you know, it's a zombie apocalypse, you know what I mean. Not nice, but... Um, just cool. Looks cool for a zombie apocalypse. Craft a wooden club, gather wood. We can do that because we've got an axe. Put that um, like that. Put the bandage there and put the painkillers there. Because we don't want to bleed out. That's literally the worst thing, just to bleed to death slowly. So that looks like it heads off into the wasteland. I'm not going to go into the wasteland. I'm going to head that way. I just want to see if there's anything useful in this place. We've got some iron and some glass jars. That's pretty good. Lovely old trash with a brass trophy in. We can probably melt that down once we get a forge. But we're a long way off that. We've got a bird's nest. We've got an egg in there and it means we can make uh, we can make what can we make? Boiled eggs? Yep, we can. So I suppose we should just follow this road, although I don't know what would be the the best path. I s I think we're gonna go we're gonna go this way. Yeah, I'm just looking at my map. Yeah, that'll take us away from the wasteland. The wasteland is more dangerous because zombies can set on fire and then they're harder to deal with. Ooh, 
Oh, that looks like the campsite that we raided on our other world. And there's... Oh, a lot of zombies. So we've got to try and... We can get the jump on them. Nope. Okay, we failed. <laughs> yeah. Go for head. Oh, come on. I was blatantly going for the head. Alright, so we got first aid. Alright, so we killed one. I think this is a reanimated dude. I think that's what they're called. There we go. That's two of them. And we got a bloated walker here. Oh, that's not nice. Really not nice. Why would you do that? Oh, jeez. Where did you come from? I, uh, yeah, let's sneak past them and try and raid this place. So, we've got a bedroll here. Ooh, okay. Yep. Yep, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Paper. Ooh, we got an iron reinforced club. That's good. Now, let's get out of here. Cool, that was close. That dude was literally just walking in there. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Let's go. Okay, we did. We did okay with that. Go away. No, there's nothing here. It's quickly... Equip that iron reinforced club and carry on our journey, I guess, through the desert, hopefully towards a forest. And try and find a cool place to set up shop, as they say in Spain. They probably don't say that. Oh, wonderful, we got some crawlers. They don't seem to have noticed us yet. That's a wrench. Uh, damage 3.7, damage 10 point. Okay, that's rubbish. No point grabbing something that's going to clutter up our inventory. Got a feather. We got, oh, a hubcap. Ow! No, that's not nice. You don't sneak up on someone like that. Now, do we go that way or do we go this way? Cortland. I don't know which way do we which way we go. Uh, I suppose I'll go this way. At this point, we're just wandering through the wilderness. But that's cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure in a zombie apocalypse you would move around a lot anyway. I mean, no place is going to be secure. Oh, we got a bridge here. They're always a good sign. And when there's a bridge, that usually means... <gasps> Water. So we can fill these up. So now we've got four murky water. And once we set up shop. Why did... I think we just accidentally drank one. That is not going to be healthy for us. So we need to craft bow and arrows for our next quest. Ooh. Oh, it's like a it's a it's a, a car shop. This could be a nice place, but the, that looks like a lot of zombies. We're gonna give this one a pass. That is not nice. Not nice. There we go. We're gonna take a pass on the sandwiches. But we are discovering a lot of places we can go, like if we if we make our way back here. Ooh, 
looks like we're changing biome. Oh, no, that's just clay. I'm just hoping that we're making our way towards the forest. Just gotta keep on hoping. Like I said, this would literally be what you do in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, private road. So this is basically a private road. I can't go on it. Well, look at this. I'm a rebel. Uh, I don't know which way to go. Is that a chicken over there? The chicken shall guide us in our quest. Follow the chicken. <laughs> we followed the chicken and the and we killed the chicken. Oh wonderful. Now we've got something that smells and attracts zombies. Attracting zombies is not good. Yep, we don't care. We've got meat, so what? Need to let our stamina regen a bit. So I guess once we complete enough quests, maybe... This guy Noah will uh ooh, is this in, is this a good change in biome? Oh we're back in the wasteland. Well we can't turn back now, we're gonna have to make our way through <gasps> Meat Stew We'll head this way because this is actually going away from the wasteland for certain. I just want to be based in a in a forest because that's where resources are most abundant. Oh yeah, we're not staying here. Too many zombies, way too many. Just passing through. No need to be alerted to me. Well, you know they're alerted to me anyway. Let's follow this small path. We'll come back to the road. There's, there's probably going to be like a small cottage over here or something. We can loot that and then go back to the main road. What's this? Speed limit 25. This isn't a road! Why would you... Why would you tell someone that you can't go over 20 miles per hour on a, like a, a path that people walk along? Well, I said that there would be a house. It looks a bit like one of those really trashy houses though. Yep, surprise, surprise. It's a trashy house. But at least it's actually got some stuff we can loot this time. There's a toilet. Oh, no. We don't want to... We don't want to know what's in there. get some iron from this that's why I'm doing this plus lots of cloth fragments don't think there's anything else so uh, let's get back to the road oh okay there's a path we can take Phoenix Yuma Las Vegas we can go to Vegas let's go to Vegas let's follow the path and go to Vegas onwards to Vegas
I don't know why I'm hitting this. A lot of wood is always helpful. Slow. It's like we're coming up on some sort of city, but... I don't... Whoa. Okay, did not see you guys there. A lot of zombies and not a lot of weapons for me. Oh, are we getting, are we heading into a forest? Is this forest? I think we made it to a forest. Woo! I think that was just like a cemetery, not a full-on city. I'm glad we made it to a forest though. This, this spoiled trash. Oh well, grab that. We made it. I think this is a forest. Yeah, this is a. F oh, oh, whoa, okay, 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 okay. That was not a forest. Oh, random audio glitch there. Apologies for that. Oh my god, that that was not a forest. That was not a forest. That was definitely, definitely not a forest. I never encountered that before. It said something about it being a deadly radiation zone. What the hell? I thought it was a forest as well. Well, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably what they use as the map boundaries. I'm cautious now. Is this going to be a deadly radiation zone as well? It looks like the wasteland. I'm edging into it very slowly. I don't like it that it's turning green. I'm being very cautious here. Okay, I don't think this is a deadly radiation zone. That was crazy though. I didn't even know that I didn't even know those existed. Oh man, my heart is on edge right now. That was crazy. There's a house. It doesn't look like there's many zombies around. <laughs> oh, okay, can of pears. Cornmeal. We're gonna skip on the old sham sandwich. Got a spring, okay. I hope this isn't a trashy house, but it looks like a trashy house. It is a trashy house. Will we ever find a nice house? All I want is a nice lush forest with a with a nice house. Like I said, not a nice house, like a cool place to live. A gas station, a farm. The first couple of ep episodes of Navish Gen, it's called the Poly, is going to be trying to find a good home. I'm just being incredibly wary because I know that we're kind of on like the boundary of what the hell? What is this? What is this? This is di this is like To me this looks like a settlement, like a zombie apocalypse settlement.
Could they could this be the right could could this be the White River settlement? I don't see any front doors. Except maybe these. Oh they they they've got in. Doesn't look like they're focused too much on me at the moment. Oh there's zombies already in there. We ought to come back to this place. This look this definitely looks like something that has been built in like the aftermath. So we'll definitely have to come back to that. Maybe that is the White River settlement. Although considering it had zombies inside of it and the letter from Noah said it was safe, I kind of doubt that that was the White River settlement. literally in the middle of nowhere i just want to see how far we've traveled we've traveled a far i'm guessing that red yeah that's the edge of the map we can't go past that maybe at some point we'll be able to get some sort of i don't know radiation suit and protect us from that I think that's the radiation zone right there, and that really worries me because we're so close to it. We definitely need to just keep heading, heading west, heading northwest, heading wherever we're heading, and try and find something. I guess I'm going to end this episode here. The first couple of episodes are literally just going to be me. Wandering Navis Gen. Please tell me if I'm saying that right because it's a really complicated looking name. We're literally in the middle of nowhere, just following the road. But I don't know, I guess this is definitely the map we're going to stay on now. And hopefully, if if you can, I mean, I don't know if, if you can, but hopefully maybe one day we can actually finish the game. And go to this White River settlement that they speak of. Because for now... We're in the land of garbage and blood and stuff. Jim's cars. Jim's cars. Ooh, a bridge. Is that the radiation zone? The water is blooming green. What does that tell you? On the map, that doesn't look like... Like, the radiation zone, I think, was, like, red on the map. So, this isn't red. So, this isn't the radiation zone. So, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy the video of me in Navis Gen, wandering throughout the map, trying to find a nice place, but failing to do so, I mean, there's a house here, but, you know, let's have a quick look in here. Oh, this actually looks okay. We'll stay here for now, and then we'll move on in the next episode. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, guys!